Hey guys, in this lesson plan, we're going to be covering business insurance for your junk removal business. Um, this is something that you're going to want to have set in place before you start going out and trying to get any commercial accounts, such as property managers, um, real estate agents working with them, as well as construction companies. So they're the ones that are going to be asking for all this documentation. So whether that is business insurance, workman's comp, um, even uh, vehicle insurance. It has to be uh, uh, commercial vehicle insurance. Not all of them will ask you for all of these. It just really depends on the company, if they manage their own stuff or if they go through a third party um, system like NetVendor. These are, these are basically third party companies that will handle all of the vendors for these large um, commercial accounts. So when you're dealing with something like that, um, that is like on a larger scale where you're going through net vendor or even just a more professional uh, um, commercial account, such as a property manager, they're going to be looking for commercial insurance, commercial auto insurance. Some of them even require umbrella coverage. And as far as construction companies, a lot of them require you to have workman's comp. So that's where you're going to have to make the decision of is it worth it at this point in time for your business to have all these things? Can you benefit from it? Um, is it something that you can afford or do you need to take a step back and really assess and see what it is that you need at this moment? What I will say is that no matter where you're at, I would at least get commercial insurance, um, general liability, uh, $2 million policy, somewhere around 50 bucks a month, depending on the city and state that you live in. Um, that's kind of what you're going to find with uh, someone like Next Insurance. Um, I know that when I first started, I was paying somewhere around 140 just because I went through a broker. It wasn't direct, and um, that was pretty expensive. But you can get it down to somewhere around 75 50 bucks. You just got to do some shopping around, see what works for you. But that's kind of what you're going to be expected to have in this industry uh, one of my previous videos, uh, you learned about setting up a business like an LLC and a federal tax ID number. That's another piece of uh, information that you're going to need to be able to have when approaching these companies. So just have your ducks in a row um, and make sure that you're ready to show them the proof before even trying to get on their vendors list because it would suck that you didn't have any of these things in place and you miss out on a big opportunity. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and keep watching the lesson plan. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.